Brews. Oh, yes, Beata Brews. Brother, I feel like you said this on the last show, and I'm not sure if you're saying this because you're on air or you mean it, and so I'd like for you to make a giant commitment right now. <laughs> <laughs> this will happen. Beata Brews. I want my face on a can. The Beatitudes! The Beatitudes! I have three little boys. All of them are of speaking age, and that's all they say to me. Are you doing the Beatitudes? And I'm like, yeah, that's it's what I'm doing. I'm making your eggs. I'm doing the Beatitudes right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to play Nick Besner. I'm going to play Paul Poker. I'm that's gonna... really funny. <laughs> no, it's awesome. I saw it. Ambrose last week. <laughs> I was like, hey, man, what's up? He's like, Beatitudes. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> my family watches it as our family activity. I know people who listen to it on their way to mass on Sunday. I'm Jeff Shufflebine. Welcome to the Beatitudes. I am joined by Paul Colker Howdy. and Nick Besner. What up? Nick, the genius spreadsheet Besner. I don't know if that works. <laughs> Boy, this is really going <laughs> to become the, a thing. Paul the, Paul the um, Polker. Well, Paul the well-formed boy band Colker. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's that a reference to? I don't know. I don't oh, know. Okay. <laughs> okay, speaking of references, I'm going to throw a reference out there. I want Matt to answer this last. It's a one-word answer. Nick, Paul, I'm going to give you a prompt. You have to give the first word that comes to mind for okay. you, okay? One kind word can change someone's entire day. Blank. One kind word can change someone's entire day. Say it. What's the word? Freedom. Okay. Nice. Nice. Matt? Beer. <laughs> <laughs> the right kind of word. <laughs> you know where I got that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell us about your so, actual setup yeah, there, so Celestial. It's a mural at, uh, at our, at our, on our patio that some friends made. Uh, they were called the Kind Mural. So it's some girls that uh, they go. They were going around traveling doing, like, murals at different businesses and stuff. Oh, and nice. So, they're, so they're, they would always do, like, their, I think their, like, theme was, like, one kind word can change someone's day and like, and it would always be fill in the blank kind of thing. So, and then they attribute it to someone. So for, for that one, it went to our, um, my, uh, my wife's grandfather. So he, he passed, a, I guess it was about a little over a year ago. So his name is, uh, Jerry Rawicki, Yerzy. So we're, um, previous episode maybe, but, uh, Yerzy, uh, was his, uh, Polish name. So, so you had a beer named Yerzy oh. after a beer him. named Yerzy. So, He's po- he was Polish Jewish, uh, uh, yeah. Lived a wild life. Lived, you know, survived the uh, through the Polish g- g- ghettos. You know, Germany took over. They did wow. not. Yeah, he had a. Yeah, it was pretty. It, it lived maybe the most incredible life of all time. So we made a beer to tri- in tribute to him after he passed. I gotta ask, a qu- like, what does that mean? The most incredible life. I yeah. just gotta know. I mean, so he survived. So he survived. Yeah, basically through the Holocaust. Um, escaped it's, Warsaw, Poland. Escaped I watched Warsaw. his documentary. I'm just telling, yeah. like, yeah, wow. in a brick wall. Yeah, yeah. So he crawling was, through a brick wall, and he was like a teenager. You know, he's like 16, 17, I think by the time. That, so this was 1945. Uh, so yeah, long story short, I mean, he, I, I can't even do justice to his story you should yeah there's so much that he did Matt, but when i've told i've interviewed your father with actually paul and i interviewed oh, your yeah. father on a, a radio show we do on catholic radio not your father your father-in-law yeah andrew and um we started learning more about the story on air mm. and here's what hit me he was harbored by other people Jer- jerry rawick was taken mm. care of those people had a bad demise because of helping him i mean there's all this craziness to it but look at oh, what yeah. happened from this lineage through your father-in-law and you're part of this story because when I tell people, you have a family of amazing young adults who also have amazing grandkids. Those grandkids go to school with my kids. That's like one of the other mm-hmm. connections that just mm-hmm. happened to happen mm-hmm. between us. Mm-hmm. But you have a brother-in-law priest. You have a brother-in-law lawyer. You have a sister-in-law doctor. You own a bar. Like mm-hmm. at some point, I think your mother and father-in-law <laughs> hit the kid jackpot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. how can you you have everything oh, in this family? It, it, insane, yeah. And then and then also a another yeah uh, spine surgeon is the other one. Oh, so, I'm sorry, I forgot the spine surgeon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Ortho orthopedic surgeon, but yeah. Well, and you know what's interesting, and I'm just naming titles there. That's no. that's the irrelevant part of they, it because they're beautiful human beings who are who are dedicated to loving and living life for the yeah. right way in yeah. virtue for God. Yeah. And that comes from Jerry a escaping, b people taking care of him. Yep. And then c finding his way to America mm. so that he. Could 
can live sure. this beautiful, yeah. extensive life that continues now yeah. with your kids. For 100%, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's always a, like, shocking moment to realize, like, yeah, if, like, if he didn't make it out through the war and survive, like, uh, and, you know, uh, yeah, none yeah. Of this. You'd be a lonely brewer. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't <laughs> even know. With no good art. You know, I don't no even, art. I don't you even want to know. Solid yeah. can. Yeah. Dank <laughs> beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, dank's a good thing. Yeah. 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 yeah but, no. that, but that's right. Cause your wife, you said on the previous mm-hmm. episode does all the art. She does all the art. So yeah. yeah so, um, no, it's pretty amazing story. And, and so we do. So yeah. So Jerry is, uh, what's his yeah, American name, but in Poland, Jersey, so oh really yeah years that's a fun name. so so we made so what we did so so we made a beer with uh polish hops so we we you know found some a supplier so so hops are grown in poland like so poland germany um there's like great growing regions for hops so anywhere where there's like classic beer styles that exist mm-hmm. in the world it's for a reason like do they have a lot of beer in germany oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have a little bit. The water is pretty good. Uh, Usually around October, yeah, I guess. October. Right? Yeah. I think they do something in October. Like How is fest. there sparkling uh, water? Yeah. This 0% alcohol beer the we ger- got from Celestial. The Germans yeah. would be like, what is that? Uh, I mean, it's not even beer, water. Yes. Yeah. 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 But, um, but yeah, so so long story short, like they, they um, yeah, there's a, like uh, Poland and Germany are great regions to grow hops. Uh, the Czech Republic as well. And um, yeah, so the, all the beers that come out of that region have been, th- that's kind of where like the origin of classic styles came from. That's so. awesome. Well, yeah. you know, so anybody who's just tuning into this bonus show and missed our first episode with Matt Reynolds, Matt is the co-founder, brewmaster, janitor, and maintenance man <laughs> yeah. at Celestial Beer Works here in <laughs> Dallas. 100%. The coolest galactic brand. And in fact, I saw <laughs> there's like disco cubes, disco balls, and galaxy stuff everywhere mm. and uh, a visit to your uh, brewery the other day there was like the stages of the moon on top of the taps that's the, but it's done in disco ball form mm-hmm. that's cool oh yeah. my gosh that's, that was, my, that's molly yeah that's yeah i'm not giving you credit for anything She's artistic here. With <laughs> disco balls beer yeah. is artistic our but top <laughs> handles have disco balls on them like it's out of control well she's yeah. a good company yeah. so yeah you know uh I would like to invite you in on an improv game with us that will test your wit, your wisdom, and everything in between. I'll try. And uh, Nick, what's this game called? Blessed are the joke makers. For they shall inherit... Inherit. (laughs) Inherit. Inherit. (laughs) The points. Same mistake as last time. Same mistake as every time. It's not a mistake at this point. It's just Jeff. He just talking. (laughs) He's just talking. How many... Since you're playing right now, uh, how many points is this worth? Um, am I playing 16? it, or I'm still just judging? No, you you're are playing, playing it. You actually right. have. To, you can I, jump in any time. My guess is that it's over fifteen. <laughs> we're calling it. We're calling it. Uh, twenty-five. And he's going high, high yeah. points 25. here. Twenty-five. Yeah. I feel like you make it worth it. If I can win this and the last one, I'm still in last place. <laughs> this is really special. I don't know what y'all went for in the past. Don't but. worry about it. Nobody knows. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. So the character card again, as this how this works, character card and a prompt that we have to answer as the character. So the character is alien, uh, an extraterrestrial. The eleventh commandment is about <laughs> what? Blank. So ridiculous. You must take me to your leader. Okay, I'll come up with a new one. <laughs> How much beer you can drink when you get an ouchie. <laughs> Extra of you there. Thank you. <laughs> the 11th commandment is all double wides must go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't aliens only go to RV parks? I mean, oh, that's fair. Yeah. That's yeah. fair. That's I fair. guess. Yes. Yes. Well played. Well played. Is it? <laughs> all right. Eleventh commandment is um, all beers must be galactic. Ah, oh, that's, that's uh, good. I'll go. give him that one. <laughs> Yay, Matt Reynolds. Et is so Gen X. <laughs> that was for you. I know. It didn't totally <laughs> appeal to me. I cried like a baby watching Et. Well, I, it's been a minute. I love that movie though. Oh, dude! My movie. parents left me alone with you. The TT. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably the age. Were you of, in the basket? I was probably the age of Drew Barrymore <laughs> yeah. in ET. The yeah. last time I saw ET, yeah. I need to. I need it's to go a on time. a on a 
trip down memory lane. I there you to go. Revisit it's that it's a good one. Yeah. That uh that really just set me back thinking about ET. I cried on New Year's Eve when I was eight years old watching ET because God, he just wanted to go home. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and you were eating your Reese's pieces and crying into a bowl of them. That's actually true too. <laughs> Phoning people. <laughs> I was at home, so I couldn't. Phone just, just you weren't, you yeah. weren't phoning home. No, no, just people. But you've been phoning it in ever since. I don't know. I feel like we're gonna get canceled for just being irrelevant now. Yeah, the ET. Very yeah. Gen X of you. Yes. Yeah. All right, Matt. Actually, what movie in your childhood is one of those formative ET moments for you? You're 36. You said mm-hmm. on the last show. So a 36 year old. What was it? Um, Mighty Ducks. I'm That's gonna, exactly no, where I was going. No, no, Mighty Ducks was good, but no, Sandlot. Quack, quack. Sandlot. Oh, Sandlot, 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 Sandlot sure. was 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 my favorite. You got it. Yeah. Like hands down, like probably probably like every time they played that at school, it was like oh, I don't really care about the movies. But when they played Sandlot, it's like oh, I'm I'm not talking to my friends. I'm watching this. The like, they played it at your school. Clout. The Colossus of Cloud. Oh, it was great. You got to watch that at school. Oh, yeah. I haven't had any. How can I have s'more? <laughs> You're oh, killing pu- me, Smalls. Public school, yeah, yeah. Oh, public school, <laughs> public school, oh, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't go to public school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we had, we had. They just <laughs> press play on YouTube. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a, this was pre YouTube. YouTube came out when I was a senior in high school, I think, two thousand five. That's great. Rub that so, in. It's yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> I was you guys a freshman were, in high school. Jeff, Jeff, what what grade were you in? Uh, <laughs> senior in college. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a senior in high school, what, twelve. <laughs> no, in two thousand five. Do not make me do math on <laughs> air. He, he was he was working. He was in seventeenth oh, grade. He was working. Yeah, yeah. he, he was, was twenty eight. Graduated. I from was college. on multiple levels of my career in two thousand five. <laughs> you were probably a disco fairy at that point. No, I'd already passed that. I was, yeah. uh, but I still had some glitter on me. Let's just put it that way. There we go. That's just because you can't get rid of it. <laughs> well, yeah, there's still glitter. He never never disappears. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of glitter, what can we expect from the future of Celestial? <laughs> Um, <laughs> what a segue! <laughs> Lots of glitter. So we do put glitter See? not in, in beers, the beer, not in yeah. the beers, but so we do these barrel aged beers. So we bottle them, so not canned. So we take a beer, put it in a bourbon barrel or something like yes. mostly bourbon, and then That's age a- it for a year plus or whatever. It's weird. What? And then we bottle a little bit of it, and then Molly waxes it, and then started putting glitter on them. She puts like I'm so excited caricatures right on there. We did we did like a king cake. Kind of inspired beer. Yeah. And Molly put the little babies on the on the wax. Like we Incredible. waxed it, and before it dried, you, you suck. Are a these baby. still available for purchase? No, no, no. no. We, we make like we do. We do like. Is we, there a second secondary market for this? <laughs> stuff? There is. Yeah. There, I think so. But yeah, we basically yeah. But in the future, so we just finished a expansion. Yeah, we got our CO from the city, but it's our uh, kind of more of a production focused facility. So we're tripling. We tripled our batch size um and could triple quadruple do we could do production a, means making more beer making or more putting beer. on big shows of putting your beer. on big shows <laughs> <laughs> we get glitter and beer and we like yeah, this yeah. Is a manufacturing <laughs> operation <laughs> so our, yeah yeah there's so, like <laughs> there's little puppet beer puppets <laughs> this is a great production <laughs> Beautiful people love we it. We spent a lot of money on this. Our productions are different than your productions. <laughs> <laughs> we can triple. Uh, we can triple this. We production. can triple. We can fit more. Triple the glitter. Triple no. But, uh, <laughs> now you're making up words. No, but we, you um, know, so we built. We we leased another facility, and it's and we yeah we built like a pretty massive brewery. Like for for going from making five to ten gallons at a time to, you know, we currently make about three gallon three hundred gallons per batch. Now we're making about a thousand gallons per batch. Incredible. So, which is yeah, to put that into yeah, like yeah, it's a lot of in beer. Cans, a, that's how many cans and kegs. In cans, so we went from making let's let's call it twenty four hundred cans per batch to let's see my math is right. Six seventy two hundred, yeah. yeah. You didn't even have to use your spreadsheets. That's, no. <laughs> that's just the brain spreadsheet. You don't even need it. Yeah, hold on. Let me get my watch because we can do it right here. Yeah. Nice. That's uh, a classic Casio. Yeah, yeah, you know, that makes me just want to vote yes on proposition ship beer. Yeah, I don't know. It. I should know the proposition, but we got to do it. Yeah. But there, is a, there is a chance if you're listening to this outside of Texas or North Texas that uh, Texas is going to pass a law so we can get these beers to you just yep. like we got the Beatitudes yeah. to you, which yep. that was a big big moment too. So we call can get you your... some Beata Brews. Oh, yes, Beata Brews. Brother, I feel like you said this on the last show, and I'm not sure if you're <laughs> saying this because you're on air or 
you mean it. And so I'd like for you to make a giant commitment right now. <laughs> <laughs> this will happen. <laughs> yeah, Bruce. I want my face on a can. Absolutely. I mean, we're, we're, we can do Which it. is funny because we're the dudes part of that word, not the beata part of that oh, yeah. word. So technically, he's cutting us out. <laughs> Take out the dudes. Brew. Put in the Because it doesn't work. Brew, brew dudes works, but beata brews. is better. You got Yeah, it's ha- better. And beata broods is weird. No. Yeah. We're not Jeff, Bruce. Stop <laughs> so instead of stop instead of happy a, are the peacemakers, it's hoppy are the peacemakers. I like that. Yeah, classic. Dude, that's pretty hoppy good. Thanks. The hoppy, because you could yeah, you could be like, hey, we're talking about beer. Hoppy next. are the joke makers. This yeah. is all. This is time. Yeah. They shall together. inherit. No, <laughs> inherit. <laughs> we need to get you a dictionary. The inherit broods. the hops. <laughs> yeah. No. All right. We. Uh, Your beer is strong, Matt. I know. Yeah. It's I not know. really. I'm I mean, sorry. it's not, I'm, a, I'm good. Sure. <laughs> They're going to say, shh, put your finger. <laughs> Stop talking. Uh, Matt, so I would just kind of put this out to you. Is there any last things you want to share? This is the bonus episode. People are enjoying that they've got to know Celestial. They've mm-hmm. got to know a little bit about how a brew ma- a, an aspiring brewmaster and an, uh, an amazing artist come together to create not just beer, but I would say a brand movement. It's you know, mm. family. I bring my kids to your brewery. Yeah, yeah. You have some amazing tacos out there, by the way. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. We honor uh, our relatives. We honor Space and David Bowie. <laughs> yeah. There's a Pay star tribute. man. Yes. Yes. Keep going. That was actually waiting good. in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our mind. That's the actual. I like song. it. Yeah. That's actually really and good. That's pretty scene. good. That was great. <laughs> that was actually on point, on on key. Thank you. Fade to black. <laughs> No, any uh, any last things? Just uh, this is your free open um, space. This is the end of the quiz where it just has an open part and says "Wow us." Yeah, um, I would say I would say uh, you know. <laughs> Did y'all ever take that quiz? <laughs> wow us. That's actually how I approached every test. Wow. Wait, where's the wow us part? Like, I got something to say. You I don't your, know the facts. That's, that's where you write your own question. You answer it however you want. Yeah. I wrote in college. I choose not to participate in your next two questions, and my teacher was so blown away that he passed. Me. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. If we don't pass this guy, he's going to be back next yeah, year. <laughs> That's what you're like, let's get him out of here. My first um, essay was good. My next two, I chose not to participate. <laughs> so we, um, yeah, I'd say, I say for what we do, we, we care a lot about our product. We care a lot about like what people see and what you're drinking. Like, um, and it's a, it's a, it's, it's a very hands-on, like one of my favorite parts of, you know, going through mass, going through, um, is like, you know, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. And I feel Yum. like, well, there's different, the vine is not one, it's not grapes, but the vine we work with is hops. Uh, but it is a very like cool, it's hard to work with really raw materials in this modern day. And I feel like we're taking true raw materials and making something, um, you know, greater than the sum of its parts kind of thing. And That's awesome. And I it's, it's super, and yeah, and it's super fun and it's really hard and we've gotten good at it. We're always trying to be better at it. You but, are um, good at it. No, yes, thanks, you thanks. are. <laughs> so, so it's one of those. It's super. It's really hard. But I mean, at the core of it, I mean, is our faith. I mean, really, like we're trying to. Yeah, we we are trying to support our family. You know, it's literally is a true family business outside of bringing your family, but also like the core of what we do. Yeah, it's like our parent. I mean, trying to make our parents proud. Try to also, you know, put food on the table for our kids. Um, yeah, I support my sister in law, my wife, myself, and then we have yeah, you know close to 15, 20 employees. So, yeah. So That's it's, it's, awesome. it, it's like, it feels, yeah. So we try to make sure like, we're not going to, we're not, we're not going to, you know, half-heartedly put something out. Like it's going to be like, we try to, you know, make sure if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. It might take us a while. We might go broke, but we'll figure it out. So I, I don't think we have time to take the deep dive. I would love to get into with this topic, but I just, what you said makes me think of something I've heard other people say before, which is building the kingdom through entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Right, like building up your family, building up the community, uh, all the ways that you help create a culture of of life and love and happiness through through the business that you're doing. Well, would you say that Matt is living an undivided life? I I would say that. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Not because I'm legally obligated to. (laughs) The contract. Such a softball. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, would you? (laughs) Matt, seriously, awesome job. Celestialbeerworks.com. I'm drinking a hazy IPA that's got stuff from all over Idaho, including oh, yeah. some cryo. Um, I learned that dank is a good word, and I am loving, that was on the previous show, everything about this. So we're going to finish with a cheers. Yeah. 
And I'm going to say thank you. God bless you. Cheers. Thank you for taking care of all of our families. Of course. And uh, living, the, living the good life for Christ. And with that, we'll see you in the Eucharist. God bless. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.